Welcome back to beautiful Marion, North Carolina and North Coat. We are on the Boulder course today for the College Disc Golf National Championships. I'm Ian Anderson, sitting next to Pavo Stubstep. Glad to be back, Ian. I love all the courses here at North Cove. Excited to see another one. This property is straight beautiful, man. Absolutely. Babbling brooks all over the place. Rock formations. You're going to see some really cool greens today. Nice. On our lead card today, we have Robert Burge from Michigan, uh, Evan Cole from RIT, Rochester Institute of Technology, Colin Thompson out of Illinois State, and Trevor Strong from South Alabama. There's Trevor right there. Should be great. It's a great course. Great players. Yep, here we see the top 10 going into the final round. We got Colin Thompson leading it. Yeah, stroke over the rest of the gang. It should be a great battle. Yep. And we should get into this boulder course. It's a little longer than the ones we saw yesterday, Pavo? More than a little longer, I'd say. We got quite a handful of par fours yesterday. We only saw one par four. Uh, here we are on hole one, par three, 315 feet, downhill shot. Hazard bunker just short right of the pin and OB uh, very close behind it, probably 15, 20 feet or so. Oh, wow. There you see the edge of the bunker, and yeah, you can see how close that creek is behind it. All right, Colin Thompson has the lead by a stroke and, and the box on one. Nice forehand shot, but fading a little too aggressively and into the hazard. Bah. So a chance to stay apart from there? Yep. Should have just outside the circle Robert look. Burridge. And Robert Bridge stepping up next. Robert going with the Firebird off the tee. Man, I love that artwork on his jacket. It's couldn't, awesome, isn't couldn't it? Couldn't stop looking at that all day. <laughs> does that have his name on it too? It does, yeah. Wow. I believe the jacket's made by Gorilla Disc Golf, but... Instead oh of talking about that, let's talk about that park job. Oh, my goodness. That's a way to start your, your final round. Great shot from Robert there. And up next is Evan Cole out of RIT. We are going with a Sexton Firebird. Might have overpowered that a little, got a little too much turn. It is fading back toward the pin, but that's going to leave him maybe edge of circle two. Mm. Wouldn't mind laying that one up with the OB behind. Yeah, that's probably what we'll see. And that's the tee. We got Trevor Strong. Trevor going with a Firebird as well. Three out of four Firebirds. Clipped a little branch there off the tee, which obviously took a lot of power off of it, so that's going to come up short. There's like an invisible ceiling on that forehand line over there. Yeah. So it should be just a layup up and down for Trevor. Yep. Nice up. Easy par. Yeah, nice to not have to putt. Have a nervy par putt in your first hole. Here is Cole. Ooh, flirting with Did that, that OB. Slide? That slid, but he is safe. Wow, that looked very close. Thompson. Out of the OB, or the hazard, I should say. And that popped up and rolled. Oh, no. I got my monopod out of the way just in time. Wow. And he's going to have a real nervy comebacker there to save a bogey. To save a bogey. Avoid the double start for the leader. This is, is big, early. Ooh, what a save. That's an incredible putt. Those those are the putts that impress me. Yeah. Everybody can make the first long one once in a while, but making that comeback, right? Yep. And here we see how close Evan was to going OB. The OB line juts out a little bit. There's that whisker that's like farther down the hill than the other. So the debate was not whether or not he was safe. It was how to take relief from that weird shaped uh, oh, OB okay. line with the triangle kind of jutting out from it there. And we have the new OB rules this year. That's right. So you can take it in any direction, a meter in any direction from where your disc is. And that is a good par save there from Cole. Should have the same from Strong and Burridge. Absolute drop in to start the round. There is Robert. And what a drive. That's how you want to start right there. Absolutely. And moves into solo lead as Thompson drops back. 
another look at how beautiful the property is out here as we're looking at hole two, par four, 543 feet. The creek and beyond to the right is all out of bounds. Uh, first shot, you just want to get it out here into the open on the left. Second shot, once again, basket is very close to OB, so let's try to land it on the left side. Sounds like the play. Mr. Bridge on the box of two. He rips. What going, a shot. Going Scorpius, Greg Barsby style right oh, here. Cool. Yeah, he fully yeah, smashes. Yeah. He's out there like 150 from the pin at most. Making this one pretty trivial after a great drive. Evan Cole. Evan going with an Emperor. Trusting the stability of that disc, hanging it out over the OB for the majority of the flight, gets back in bounds, and he's going to be maybe a little bit shorter than Robert, but not much. Yeah, fantastic drive. Strong. Strong going with an enforcer. Oh, no. And he did not get the turn he wanted on that. Seems like a risky play going oh. with the forehand on this. And, yep, that finds the out-of-bounds creek. I guess maybe the thought is it's hopefully flying over inbounds most of the time. Yeah. And Still you, fading towards OB at yeah. the end. But. but you wouldn't be have the distance penalty if it went OB. I suppose the backhand, if you never get inbounds, sure. you're basically reteeing, right? Good, good point, Ian. Yeah. Yep. That is a nice shot there from Thompson, middle of the fairway. Yep. Not as long as the first two backhands, but yeah. serviceable. Exactly. I mean, it's a shorter par four. Really, this hole is all about the, the second shots, keeping the first shot in bounds and then make sure you don't go long on the second. Yep. And here is Strong just taking his meter in. Just didn't get the flip he needed on it. Nothing more than that. Look, throwing three now. Looks like it's Firebird. That's where everyone has an awesome forehand now. Yeah, everyone except me. Yeah, and me. <laughs> Great up there. He'll save his par most likely. Mm -hmm. Thompson? A little wide. Yeah, I mean, that's the if you're going to make a mistake, that's the mistake to make on this upshot. Yeah, good point. Cool. Just a monster drive, little putter approach. Easy peasy. Should be a casual birdie for Cole. And Burridge. Also a little putter approach. Ooh, that's kind of shanked, oh, man. Early release, yeah. yeah. It's kind of looked like it slipped out of his hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can uh, redeem himself. Negative, the upshot cost him. That's unfortunate after the best drive of the group. Actually, yeah. Even the upshot short and missing the putt. Thompson. Ooh. Oh my God. That's one way to make him. Almost no chains there. I haven't seen one like that in a while. No. Jammed low right, no chains. Strong. That's a good par save after the OP drive. And Cole should be a birdie and uh, move him into a share of the lead. Okay. There it is. Great battle brewing so far, Pavo. Yeah. All four separated by just one stroke. Par comebacker for Robert. No problem. This place is beautiful as it is, but like in a month, man, all the leaves filling on the trees. I can't imagine that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta come back up here and play right? these courses once the weather's a little better. They're really fun. This golf yeah. course is on a ball golf course. Yeah, man. which is usually not my cup of tea, but these look really fun to play and really beautiful. Yeah, big shouts to what the designers. A, yeah, what a property. Uh, hole three, 334 feet. You tunnel shot off the tee. You want to get out into the open and just fade left to the pin. The tunnel is pretty tight, though. Cole has the box. Squeaks it out on the right side of the gap. Gets the fade he wants. And he's going to be inside the circle. Putting his Thunderbird just past the pin there. What a shot. Thompson. Oh, no. Oh, early release. Oh, no. That's going to be rough over there. The definition of bridge. Firebird coming up.
That's a good looking shot, Ian. Gets it out the gap. Fading like a firebird fades. Uh, oh. Getting what looked to be a good roll at first, and then it kind of rolled away a little bit. I thought bit. it was going to do the good curl. Exactly. The slope of that hill made it kind of turn over during the roll and yeah. go away from the pin a little. He should still have a long look for birdie, though. Trevor Strong is throwing a wraith and throwing it very nicely. Just keeping that hyzer angle the whole way. No flip to flat oh. for him. Uh, no skip at all. Yeah. This is short grass. You won't, wouldn't really expect that. And Ian, there's a disc in there. No, there's uh, not. We were all searching for this for a good couple of minutes. I was helping him look, and there is a disc in those leaves. Who found it and how? Uh, one of the other players on the card found it. I can't remember which one, or perhaps it could have even been a caddy, but I was helping them search around that area. I might have stepped on it. That it is was that hard to see, just buried in the leaves. Wild. And this approach, what wild. and out. He found a back door alley through the trees, and he's going to get his par save. I, I feel like you're not supposed to save par from there. No, I don't think so. That's that's bogey land all day. Love it. Excellent out. Strong? Oh, the strong bid for the two. Yeah, just a little high. Oh, Great man. looking putt. Great run, Trevor. That and, was a layup. Uh, that was Robert laying up. Uh, when he wants to lay up, he's kind of like Paige Pierce. He uh -huh. does it really, really fast, <laughs> and uh, I kind of missed that one. Cool. My apologies. Coming back for birdie, and that is not to be missed opportunity there. A little bit of a roll away. Yeah. And now if he can get that par save. Oh, a little low. Inches short. The bird doggy. The scourge of disc golfers everywhere. Thompson. Again, excellent par save. <laughs> that window he found out of there was incredible. <laughs> yeah, definitely not the intended fairway. I thought he would pitch out through the, the intended gap, but uh -huh. no, he found some little backdoor alley. It worked beautifully. That was a par drop in. This is a bogey drop in for Cole. And we are going to take a quick break and word from our sponsors back in just a few. When I walk up to the tee, I have these game plans. I think I'm going to land in these same areas every single time, but you never know. Having the Bushnell Rangefinder, no matter where I land, gives me that extra level of confidence. To compete on a high level, you need a disc that you can reach for and you know exactly the outcome before you've even thrown the shot. Thunderbird has the control of a fairway driver, yet it performs like a high-speed distance driver. Why the Thunderbird? Distance, control, versatility, trust. That's the Thunderbird. From the design process to the build to getting it ready for an event. I think the North Cove Leisure Club is a, a perfect place for majors and specifically collegiates now. And having three courses all in one place where all the players can see each other and share similar experiences, that is a universal connection with other people who have played that same course. This is as good as it gets. You know, this is this is catering very specifically to disc golfers. Welcome back to North Cove. We are looking at hole four. What's our play here, Pablo? Hole four, 278 feet, par three, downhill, but throwing OB off the tee. The creek is OB. Everything to the right of the creek is OB. Uh, and here you see the basket. Once again, theme of the property, not far from the OB. Everything to the left is safe, though. Okay. So you can get safe just how close do you want to get and how exactly. dangerous i like it but the safer you play it the deathier the putt if you're playing it off to the left side thompson with a forehand play oh this is sneaky oh 
Hit the cage. What Man, we shot. thought that was going in from the tee. That skip looked perfect. It was heading right at the chains. We got Robert with a P2. Dead straight putter shot. Oh, it wind sheared. Was it a tree? No, that hit the that hit the band. I know, but it hit the band. It looked like it dropped like it, that, four feet in the last it, minute. It did. That was all wind. It was really bizarre. Whoa. That looked like it was going to sail like five feet yeah. over the top of the basket. And at the last possible second, it dropped and, and hit the band. That was so wild. A band hit immediately after a cage hit. How often do you see that? Not often. Although I have seen back-to-back -back aces from the same guy. That is ridiculous. Yeah. You, you can't say that without telling us what guy. Ian. Jamal Hanson. Okay. Yep. I'll give him a shout. Evan Cole. Oh, oh no! Man. Brutal. I mean, at least it went in bounds up there briefly, so oh, he good gets point. to take it from up there because that was over OB the entire flight. He would have probably had to re tee if that didn't mm -hmm. cross in bounds on the left side there. That was a good layup there from Strong. Uh, Cole's got a chance to save par despite the OB drive. Yeah. Great putt. Nicely framed between those trees. I always love a good framed putt. He had to stand on, you couldn't see it from that camera angle, but he had to stand on some tree roots out over the water. Kind really? Of, kind of a sketchy stance. Dang. And Burge with the birdie. Almost getting the ace. Along with this guy. Incredible. And they will remain tied at the top. Both of them hit basket, and both of them stayed close. Sometimes with basket hits, you see discs kind of bounce off and leave oh my testy goodness. comebackers. Definitely. And uh, moving on to hole five, par three, 303 feet. Uh, no OB along the fairway on this one to speak of. There is OB deep of it, but it is pretty far past it. Uh, players would have to overpower their shots pretty significantly to find it on this hole. Pretty straightforward shot. Thompson on the tee of five. play and oh man that was looking great and it hit a tree and just rolled backwards a good 30 or 40 feet that's going to give him a an edge of circle two putt maybe a uh, little bit closer another p2 from robert similar line let's hope he doesn't hit a tree and roll backwards and <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like beautifully done mr strong going warded bit lower line than the first two guys and it was a little bit too low it hit that berm yeah it had the power just it did another couple feet of height and it would have been perfect so mm -hmm. it wasn't off by much mr cole going with a star cayman oh my goodness almost another ace i don't think that one hit basket but it was really close to going in dang strong circle two bid for the birdie Layup. Content to just lay up. That's a long one. Looking a little gusty out there at yep. times. Yep. Just like yesterday, it was windy on and off throughout the round. Oh. No. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything about the OB. Oh, my goodness. I think what we couldn't see from that camera angle is he hit in bounds and it popped up and rolled down. Oh, table. did it really? Yeah. Oh, brutal. This Although that OB is a little closer than the, the T sign makes it look. So. Oh, that was for four. He's now putting for five. Dang, yeah, you're right. Oof. And Burridge, this is for strokes on the card here. And that's, that's for a cushion. Yep. Just grabbed three strokes on Thompson. And he already had two on Strong and Cole. Thompson has had a couple unfortunate rollaways. I kind of yeah. feel bad for him. We're only five holes in, and he's had two kind of significant rollaways, one of them into OB. Yeah. Short end of the stick for sure. Strong with par. Double. Ouch. Yeah. And that's going to wrap us around to six. Hole six, 431 feet. Big, safe field on the right, but the basket, once again, is tucked close to that creek on the left. Uh, the path here is safe, but the basket is really close to the creek, once again. All these baskets are set up so you can fish and putt at the same time. That sounds difficult, Ian. <laughs> Bridge. Well, that's wide. Is it coming back, Pablo? Yeah, I think he grip locked that a bit. Okay. 
I mean, once again, that's the mistake to make. If you're going to make a mistake, he's safe. He should have an easy long layup for par from there. That was a Thunderbird out of Bridge. Got Cole next. Turning that one over too much. He's going to be pin high, but even farther to the right than Robert. That was one of his Emperors, and this is going to be an Enforcer here for Strong. That tree is scaring him wide, isn't I it, think so. I think so. Either the tree or, or the knowledge of how close to the to the creek oh. the basket is. And really, a hyzer angle that comes in towards the basket like you want has a good chance of hitting the path. And then, of course, you would get that mega skip definitely into the OB. So it's it's an interesting uh, hole shape. You know, 431, basket next to the OB. I think they're all playing it for par. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nobody's even getting, getting aggressive. Although this upshot doesn't look particularly easy. No, it doesn't. Cole second. A little tentative on that. That's going to be kind of a long tester for par from there, right at the OB Creek. What, what do you think the distance is on that putt? Ooh, maybe circle's edge, okay. just outside. Yeah, I think you're right there. Thompson, There's, that's how you do it. Yep. Get a little high, throw that stall shot. Dove it nicely. Strong, his second. Sit down. Yep, good layup. Yep. Well done. I'm <laughs> running over to make sure it does. Yep. Indeed, calm down, and it did. Bridge. Trying to lay up, getting a little bit of a roll, mm -hmm. but he is fine right there. Yeah. And here is the par save attempt for Cole. Left it a bit farther out than you'd like. Yeah, yeah great putt. Nice. Left corner pocket for the win. That's a nervy putt it right It sure is. Be. I oh mean, my. that creek is so close. Burridge. This is the hold on to that two-stroke lead over Cole. Yeah. Man, solid on the green. Strong for par as well. Yep. Like you said, they all probably elected to play for par on purpose. Uh -huh. Evan with the good putt to do so. Everyone right. else kind of playing it exactly how they intended. Thompson cleaning up. Par is around. And the game move on. It's a whole seven here in just a second. Looks like pretty casual vibes on the card. Yeah. Everybody having a good time? Definitely. Taking another look at that great par save from Evan. I was starting to get worried. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a little left side. Thankfully, it was low enough. Yep. And here we are on hole seven, par four, 635 feet. I would call this one of the signature holes on the course. Uh, everything in the creek on both sides of the bridge here is OB. Uh, the OB line extends far out from the creek as well. It is marked. And then take a look at this green, Ian. This is one of the most unique greens I've seen in all of disc golf. I love it. It's a basket in a hobbit hole. Yeah, pretty much. Love it. Bridge on the box of seven. So he is going for it, trying to get across the creek. And he is channeling his inner Greg Barsby because that's a Scorpius too. Oh, oh, oh no. And that is OB. Man, if he was just a foot right, missed that tree or a foot left, he would have made it. But he's going to be taking that from a drop zone. Mm. Cole. Cole is going for it as well. Great shot right down the middle of the gap, exactly how you want, and he gets across. Ripping that emperor. Yep. That was it's gonna make for, an, for an easier upshot than you would have if you play the layup, like we're gonna see here from say, Trevor. This is a justice. Yeah. You're not throwing far. This with is a, a very <laughs> common play, I think, on this hole is to lay up uh, before the OB, and uh, he's got some skips off the path there. Hmm. And really flirted with the OB line, but he stayed safe. What was he got like 300 left? 350 even maybe? Yeah, I, at least May, maybe more. Mm -hmm. This is another layup play from Thompson. I mean, you can see why the, the layup is a popular play here with all the out-of-bounds, especially because in this case, it's not just the creek. It's pretty far out from the creek. You mm. can see a whisker there right next to Trevor's disc. That is how close he got to the OB line. Oh, no way. Oh, no oh, way. Early release on that. Oh, is that OB? Is that, that just brutal? That oh. is OB, yeah. Oh, no. So he's going to be taking that from the drop zone as well. Ugh. Oofta. Thompson throwing two. That's a little bit low. Overturned. 
got across the creek. He should be able to have an easy par save from there. And as you can see, Ian, we were caught by some unexpected rain there. We started to see it come down. Yeah. Uh, here's the drop zone just short of the bridge. Robert throwing three now. Could still save par with a good approach. Good turn. I think it was getting smacked around by the wind. Did yeah, you see it? It got super windy here all of a sudden. And now the rain is uh -oh. really coming down. It, it went from no rain to a drizzle to a, almost a downpour in a matter of minutes. The mountains of North Carolina. Yeah. Guess, huh? Trevor that's from the drop zone. Throwing four, though. Oh, that's a long putt for five. An impossible putt. That's looking like a six for strong. Yeah. What a nasty kick that was on his second. We're looking at Cole, who cleared the OB on his drive now just throwing two makes the hole a lot easier when you get a drive like that out there how about it <laughs> love it from Cole nice approach as well you're looking at Thompson's third now fun reaction yep actually good for that boulder to stop him if it had gone past it he might not have had a clear putt oh now yeah he, now he does look at that strong throwing five Yep, it's going to be right there. Yep. And find an umbrella. And at this point, once we got to the green, the rain turned to hail. Oh, hey. That's a cool feature. Oh, it's, just right side. It, it looks like it's it, in the basket. From this angle, it does, but unfortunately, it is not in the basket. Oh, now you can see. Yep. So, cool. This is for a stroke on the card plus. Putting right into the hail. Ugh. Yeah. These conditions were getting to everybody. Nasty, man. Players and cameramen alike. <laughs> It just gets worse every time we have a new clip. Yeah. Oh, there is Thompson making a good putt in some nasty yep, conditions. Good par. Put that hood on. Put both of them on. And we'll just have a bunch of cleanups coming up here. Strong will have a six. So Robert's looking at his disc here. There's an area that we can't really see from this camera angle. It's marked off orange. And okay. Everything goes from there goes to that little orange stake you see in the ground with no penalty, just because there's some areas under that boulder where it's kind of physically impossible to get a legal stance. Oh, okay. I like that. So is, is Cole too close, or can he just drop in from he there? He can just drop in. You okay. kind of have to be deep of the basket, like in the cave area, oh, right. to... to take your relief to that orange post which is still just a tap in yeah, I mean. yeah. it's all on, on the up and up yep. I like it I love this shot from Geis Thompson yeah I love that hole we got the craziest weather of the day on the coolest green of the day what, where are we going on hole 8 Pavo? hole 8 a uh, really short downhill shot 255 feet uh once again, theme of the course, OB Creek, very close behind it. All right. And, and just a quick shout out to our friends at Ace Run Pro for all the drone footage we were using theirs this weekend. Tons more footage on their channel. Go check it out once you're done, once you're done with this. Uh, you're looking at Evan Cole. Hits the gap nicely, but that's low. He's probably just going to play a layup from there, given how deathy that putt is going to be. Mm -hmm. Thompson. Oh, going for the high forehand spike. It clipped a branch up there, but it did. that didn't affect it too much, although oh. probably took some distance off. <laughs> it's like the big germ line right there. Burridge. Lining up the spike hyzer. Going with a max. The very spiky spike hyzer. Star max. These things are so stable. Oh, yeah. It spiked. Tombs, tombstone there. Here you Ooh. see the basket elevated close to the creek. It's going to be a scary putt for Robert. As is tradition out here at North Cove. You're looking at Trevor. Or no, uh, Strong. Yep. It is Trevor, you're right. Uh, he's going Firebird. Yep. And that is the best drive of the group. He's going to be in the circle with a birdie look. And bonus, not even putting at the OB. Yeah. Rare sight. Thompson laying up at OB. Oh, wow. It's a scary layup even with that, that, is. With that slope. Uh huh. Not a big margin for error. And Burridge with a birdie bid. Nope. Yeah. Doesn't want any part in that. Smart layup. Yeah, sure was. Chance here for Strong to get some uh, strokes on the card. Cool. Long look at the two. Wants no part of it. Sit down now. Ooh. Yep. Stay safe. You can see one whisker right there. And here is the birdie look for Strong. Get 
at it, dude. Good, high, strong side. Great putt. Good birdie. Stroke on the card. Getting back in the mix. Just three off the lead. Lots of golf to play. Bunch of par tapping. Oh. Stroke him. <laughs> I keyed. There he goes. No problem on that. And as you can see, the rain has completely let up now. So oh. thankfully it didn't last long. That was nice of it. That was Birch. Here is Thompson. Par drop-ins. We got 10 holes to play. Robert has a one-stroke lead over Cole. There's Trevor Strong. Rip it on that Firebird. I love the slow-mo shot in the rain. Yeah, it always looks cool, doesn't it? All right, moving on to hole nine, par three, 375 feet. Uh, one of the few holes on this course with no OB at all. Path is safe. There's no OB anywhere near the basket, but it is a very treacherous green. Look at this, Ian. How about that thing? All right. Strong. He is going with a Wraith. Oh, Ooh, no. Grip lock. Just a little bit. Well, I mean, at least it kicked to the left. Kicking to the right off that tree would be real bad. There you go. This is an Emperor for Cole. Get some nice turn on that. I like the look of this flight. Fading back toward the green, getting a nice trickle, and he's going to have an in-the-circle, very steep uphill putt. Lovely stuff. Thompson. Looks a little too much turned over. Yep. Yeah, tough, tough hole, though. you got to put some angle on it. Yep. Yeah, it, it calls for that S-curve mm -hmm. flight path. This is a Nico LaCastro hole all day. This is an eagle here for Burridge. Great disc for a right and then back to left. Yep. Must be a bunch of Barsby fans, man. We got Scorpius yeah. and Eagles and all kinds of fun discs in here. And that might be kind of blocked off by that tree from where he is, but hopefully he can straddle out and get a putt still. Looking at strong second. A little bit of work left to do after that early tree hit. Trying to save par. High hyzer coming in nicely. Now just stick. Yep. Okay, a chance. Yeah, good upshot. Uh huh. Thompson. Beautifully done. Yep, well done. A little runway up there. Yeah, it looks kind of dangerous being wet in the rain. Yeah, it looks yeah. like you could slip standing on that thing. I definitely could, no problem. <laughs> There is oh, no. Burge giving it a bid, but not to be. I want to make sure it, it sat. Yeah. Well, it sat to an extent. You'll see where he ended up. It kind of rolled down to the left. Is a that him bit. right there? That is him on uh, the left of the screen now, which we oh. couldn't see from, from our perspective when he putted. So he thought it sat closer than that. And that's Cole time for the lead right there with a birdie that make. That excellent putt. And he might even snag the lead if Robert misses his par putt. Check there it, it is. Robert's par putt. To maintain a share of the lead. Oh. Sit down. Ooh. It's wow. always disappointing when you think a shot has sat, and then you walk up, and you're like, oh, it oh. did roll away. Mm -hmm. Just didn't see it happen. Yeah. Ooh, Trevor. This is a tough-looking par make, but he does it. Yeah, great save. First tree off the tee and saves par. That's all you can hope for after the drive. A couple of tap-ins. Robert for a bogey. Calling for a par. And that's going to do it for the front nine. Evan Cole leading it at the turn. Yeah. Swooping the lead on nine with that two-stroke swing. Great birdie make. I feel like not a, a lot of people are getting this one, Bobo. Yeah, I don't think so. That green is just so treacherous to putt on. That it is. And the hole requires a good drive as well. That is all we got for part one. We will catch you guys for the finish in part two. Thanks for watching.